All right. I'm just waiting on this to uh, get on. The show's on. There we go. Hi, guys. This is Joy Packard. I'm so excited today because... We figured out how to get more than one person on this platform. I didn't have this when we had Stephen and Nate Hibbert the other day, but so we may have to redo them. But we have yet another double header today. We just seem to, you know, we're trying to get everything done, bringing on these amazing speakers. If you don't know by now, I'm sure you will. If you just look at everything we've been talking about, we have a live event happening next Friday and Saturday right here in Houston, Sugarland area. It's called a Simples on Seller event. We have 21 amazing speakers talking to you about everything on the planet, Amazon and beyond. We have Shopify experts. We have, you know, Pinterest going on. We have so much stuff. But guess what? Today, this morning, we have some special guests. I am so honored and humbled. Again, you know, I say this because I'm just looking at the speaker list and I'm so excited to take my notebook on Friday and Saturday, right along with you guys that are coming and listen and learn. And even though I've been doing this for, you know, four or five, six years now, every time I come to a conference or listen to the, anything, you know, there's always something new. And these guys are, I've been following them for um, probably two or three years now. And I think I've chatted with one of them, Kristen, off and on on Facebook. And every now and then with Amy, I think I've, I've mentioned to her, but they are a powerhouse duo team. We have them coming to Houston. You guys are super lucky. You don't know how lucky you need to check out their uh, Facebook page or their group. Uh, they will. I will let them talk about that here in a minute. They have an awesome podcast that you guys need to subscribe, download, and review. When you review the podcast, it helps their show. You know, it's kind of like doing private label. It, it makes the show um, more uh, visible and popular, and that way we can listen to them more, and they can give us more content and share the value that they have. They are truly, I don't know, I just, I'm in awe. I'm, I'm starstruck by them coming. I'm just super excited to have them. And like I say, those of you who are thinking about, you're on a the fence about coming to this event. Uh, and as I'm speaking, you guys can post your event link, um, um, Kristen and Amy, in the uh, comments so that I can, I can show that on the wall. If you guys are, you know, we are running out of time. Our room is almost full. And if you guys come late, then you might sit in the little corner with no desk and not have as good a, a view and sight and all that kind of stuff. So uh, I wanted to introduce you guys to Kristen Ostrander and Amy Fairman. They are amazing and they have so much to share. They know not just, you know, you know, there's some people that talk about like a specific niche or whatever, but they do. If you go to their, their website, uh, they have all kinds of amazing courses. And honestly, I think they should be charging like 10 times more than they're charging because the value is incredible. I mean, I, in fact, I might go there and just, you know, I may have to just review and just learn some new tips because they always have awesome things going on. So um, I'm going to let them come to, um, you know, come up and uh, speak. And uh, I don't know how you guys want to do it. If you one of you wants to start, maybe Amy, you can start. Tell us a little bit about yourself and, you know, your journey, a little bit what's going on, what you're up to. Well, I have been an Amazon seller almost seven years now. Um, I've been, I started on eBay. I come from an entrepreneurial family um, and I fought against that for the longest time. So I worked in corporate and did all of that and realized that that really wasn't my thing. Um, I needed to be doing my own thing. And I started with eBay and that, morphed into Amazon. And I will be completely honest. I was that person who said there was no way this Amazon thing is a profitable long-term solution for anything. Uh, that was six years ago. <laughs> so I have evolved and changed my mindset because I've actually been in doing it. And it is something that anybody can do um, as long as you're willing to put in the hard work that goes along with it because it is a business. Um, I am, I've been wonderful to come alongside with Kristen and be able to not only build our businesses together, but also teach others how to build their businesses. Um, we do this at mommyincome.com and we have our podcast, The Amazon Files. It's actually a show that we teach live every Monday night at nine. Um, you can find out more on our website. And 
that way we can share all the stuff that we are continually learning. We're not stagnant. We're always learning something new. And we always want to bring that to others to share it because our goal isn't just to sit back and relax is to help others be able to gain the freedom that we've gained in our businesses. Well, I'm Kristen Ostrander. And again, Amy said a lot of what her, how her journey has started, but um, also I started on Amazon in 2008. As a matter of fact, it's, it seems like a really long time ago, a decade is a long time to be selling. Um, so, so much has changed since then, but you know, as, as a seller and then moving in towards uh, the education aspect of it, Amy and I joined forces. Uh, we started uh, Mommy Income and joined forces together because we really wanted to help people. We know the struggle is real. Um, it's not just, hey, throw a bunch of products on Amazon and hope for the best. I mean, this stuff is real um, work. And so we just set our mission to be able to teach other people exactly what we've learned and make it also affordable. I know you had mentioned we should be charging 10 times more than what we do. And although I appreciate that, we also want to make it affordable for the little guy. You know, not everybody comes from a, you know, a big means. And so we want to make sure that that it's for everybody. We want someone to start somewhere. And that's where we started. I started with, you know, $100 and tried to sell books on Amazon in 2008. And I didn't have a whole lot. And so um, I, I sympathize with that person that um, that, you know, can't just start out swing in thousands of dollars. So we really just try to help people succeed on Amazon by teaching them what has worked for us. It might not work for everybody. There's all kinds of different business methods, but we really love teaching people what has worked for us and our specialty is wholesale bundles. That's where we've been killing it since we started about about three years ago, we started doing wholesale bundles and we cannot even express how the changes in our business, three, four, even five times growth year over year by adding wholesale bundles. Wow. Did you hear that guys? Three, four, five times. And I, I'm with them as far as like <clears throat> the price. And even though I'm like, you know, the value, like people tell me, gosh, you know, your event, you have all of these amazing speakers coming. Uh, I'm not sure if all you guys who are listening are realize this, but we are suddenly an international conference. We have people coming from Canada. We have people coming from the UK. We have people coming from Puerto Rico and some other places like that. And a lot of people are saying, gosh, you know, you should be charging more for your event and this and that. And, you know, I'm like you too. Like, it's like, I love, I love, and as you guys can see, this is a, a common theme amongst our speakers as I bring them on. They're, they're willing to serve. They share value. They want to help you. You know, they're not about holding information back. These ladies definitely are not about holding information. If you go to their website or you listen to their podcast, they are so giving. And so, you know, there's some people that are in this business where, you know, they're all about like, you know, showing their numbers and then they hold back information because they feel like if they share too much, then people are going to take too much of their pie. And these ladies and most of the most of everything that we're going to be talking about on here as far as like, I'm not going to say most, I'm going to say all, <laughs> all of the speakers are amazing in the fact that they are just willing to give. I mean, they just give and they give and they give. I mean, yesterday we had Brandon Young. He's going to Hong Kong today. And he, you know, came on a podcast or came on a live video with us. And then he's coming back early from his China trip to be in Houston. And if you, you know, it's just people like, like Amy and Kristen. And we've got all these people that are coming on and they're just willing to, you know, get on here and share with you guys. And like I say, go to their site. It's on the uh, right below us here, mommyincome.com you will be blown away. Go look at their courses. I mean, there's so many things that they're talking about that are so awesome. And they're so, anybody can go, go there and get started. And so tell us a little bit, some of these people are, are new to Amazon and some are, are veterans and some are, you know, we've got all walks of life. Um, tell us a little bit about um, the wholesale bundles and like, do you guys uh, go to trade shows or do you buy online or what's your, what's your method? Well, we are a mix of, well, we are 100% wholesale at this point, but we do a mix of how we find our wholesalers. Um, we There are a variety of different ways, and trade shows is only one. We do enjoy traveling to trade shows. It's one of the ways that we get to spend time together. Um, we both live way too far apart. I'm in Philly, and she's outside of Detroit. So because we are so far apart, we travel three to four times a year to trade shows so that we can source together. Um, we find that there's this great thing of doing this together because it's that support. It's that person to bounce things off of. So we have that. So we do source trade shows for a variety of reasons, but that's one of the best. Wow. Well, we, 
We find that trade shows is a great place to build relationships with reps. Um, a prime example of not being afraid of, you know, a lot of people that go into wholesale are afraid that they're going to say no to Amazon sellers. They're going to say, hey, you can't sell on Amazon because, you know, we, we don't allow that. But um, building relationships with the reps during a trade show is something that you can rely on later on. And you can, you know, instead of going through their normal sign up process on, on a website, you can actually reach out to them and say, hey, we met you in, you know, at America's Mart trade show and um, we'd love to set up an account. And instead of going through their email process, you've actually made a touch point with a human. And I think that that's um, part of it. Yeah. So we started with, with wholesale and moved into bundles um, because we were solving our own problems. And so we're like, we can't find this variety that we want on Amazon. So we're going to create a bundle for that. And it started to work. We started doing it in grocery and then we moved into doing it in wholesale because um, it was working. People, we realized that there was a hole in the marketplace to buy not only varieties of things, but things that make it convenient for people to purchase. So that's kind of how bundles were born. And we called it poor man's private label because at the time, neither one of us could afford to spend five, ten, fifteen thousand $15,000 trying to get a wholesale or, or a private label product to the marketplace. And all the time consuming efforts of that and you know just all the things that go into that so we're like okay let's try to private label our own product which is like a bundle and see see how that works and it actually works really well we haven't slowed down since wow when did you start bringing wholesale bundles into your business you said was it a couple of years ago 2015 is 2015. when i started doing it and um it just, it was started slow. We were all retail arbitrage for a time. And then we slowly moved into bundles and we were doing it RA bundles, grocery bundles first. And then we moved into like, if we can do this with um, retail arbitrage and with grocery, what is one of the limits if we use wholesale? And so we, we went into wholesale with that because we were finding that wholesale, it was hard to find decent products that didn't have tons of competition to make money on. And so we were thinking, how can we make money in a better way? And we started putting bundles together and we just, saw it take off and just haven't slowed down. Wow. That's, that's so exciting. And so did you get your wholesale ideas? Did you say starting by doing retail arbitrage, you kind of started buying stuff and you realize, oh, you know, this is a great product. And then you started deciding to putting all these together. Is that how the bundle idea came about? It's one of the ways that it came about. It was, it was that first trying to decrease competition because you're, when you're doing one-offs with single items, whether it's retail arbitrage or on wholesale, you're, met with a wall of competition and our goal one of them was to get out of that so starting to put things together i remember i used to do i was 70 percent grocery when i started doing bundles and so i was walking down aisles going what are the things that i would put together that i would want to buy together and start putting those together starting to do research on what people were actually buying together and seeing what would work i think that's an awesome thing that a, a key point that you just touched on guys and that is uh, sometimes we get caught up and, you know, we don't think about like, like the other day, uh, somebody was, my husband was like, oh, you know, these are the things that we're, that we, like when I'm traveling, I was actually, you know, I travel so much and I was like, wow, I wish somebody would put together a bundle that had this and this and this and this. And I started thinking about that, exactly what you're saying, like, what would people want and what are they buying or what would, what would be convenient for them? Cause you know, Amazon is a lot about convenience. People want their product quickly. You know, they don't want to go around and figure it out. And then if they see your bundle and say, wow, you know, um, we had a, uh, I don't sell this one anymore, but we had a uh, gumbo bundle. I don't know if many of you guys know what gumbo is. If you're from the South in Louisiana, it's just kind of like a soup that's, it has shrimp and chicken and sausage and all that. But we had a, um, a gumbo bundle that, that did really, really well. And then um, I decided just not to, it was just kind of more work to, you know, bubble wrap the, the glass and all that kind of stuff, but it, it was awesome. But it was, what do I, what do I need when I cook gumbo? You know, here are the items. And those of you who are listening, as you're thinking about, you know, bundle ideas and wholesale ideas, exactly what these guys are doing, that's an awesome thing to think about. And so do you guys have in your, I guess, do you, um, have once they buy your courses, is there another separate pain group that you have that you support them uh, once they buy a product or how does that work? Or do you just, you have separate coaching or? We, have, we do do coaching, but we also do have support within each of our courses. So there are question and answer session, sections where we they can ask questions and we respond to all of that. Um, we are there to support you. We're not a we don't just create courses to have you consume that we are not involved in. We want you to be able to ask your questions, get your personal questions answered. Because guess what? Everybody has different challenges and there are different things that you need to look at 
and approach. And so we're, we're there to help you. And if we don't know the answer, we have plenty of access to people who do. So we are able to reach out and get you the answer that you need. That's awesome. We also have our Facebook group, which is not only for people who have purchased a course, but it's for, you know, anyone who's interested in um, Amazon. And, you know, we're really strict about when people come in. It's not it's not for spammers. It's not, you know, we ask for people to use a code word to get in. So if anyone's listening now, and would love to get in our Facebook group. The Facebook group is Mommy Income. And um, you can use the code word um, joy to get in the Facebook group if you like. We, we clarify that with people because a lot of people want to join every single group out there. And we want to make sure that people are coming in our group specifically to get help about selling online and selling on Amazon. We want to make sure that they're in the right place to, to be helped. We want to help them. We have 1600 members that are constantly interacting with each other, teaching and training. There's no, there's no dumb question. There's no such thing as a bad newbie question. And you know, we want people to come in there and get their answers because we were all beginners once too. We've all had to kind of fight the fight and, and cl climb our way up into um, making this business work however you choose. And so uh, there's lots of people in there that just want to help other people not make the same mistakes they've made. So um, we do have a, a free Facebook um, community that people can join as well because, um, you know, everybody needs a helping hand. I love that you say that too, because I think it's so important as, you know, we, we get into this business and or in any business that we basically remember where we came from because you're right. And sometimes it's almost like being in class, you know, like whenever you're in school and you, you have this question, but you, you don't want to raise your hand because you don't want to look dumb to everybody in your class. But if you're in a, in a community, like what they're saying, like their Facebook community where you can actually, you know, I, I know this is a dumb question, but da, 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 da. But you know what? Once you get that question answered, like you've got it answered and you can move on. And that's what these groups are for. I know there's some groups that are out there where, you know, people, when they ask a question, they, they ask the question and then somebody just makes them feel so, you know, small. And then they're like, ooh. I don't, I, and then they, and then they just either quit or they move on to something else because they're like, I, I just don't know how to get that question answered. And so that's what I love about you guys too, is that you're so real and you're, you're willing to help and you're out there and you're, you know, sharing what you know. And you know, these people that are coming to our conference guys, and by the way, the link is right underneath us, mommyincome.com slash Houston, slash Houston. Those are where you can get your event tickets. They are running out. You, you really need to get going on that guys. There's many different packages that you can choose from. But one of the things that I love too, is that everybody is willing to give, everybody's willing to help and say, look, you know, ask the question. I remember when I first started, I don't even remember what question it was, but I asked it and I really felt kind of dumb for asking it. And I actually deleted my comment because some people are like, uh, you know, you need to go to a different group or whatever. I don't even remember what group it was in, but I really felt really dumb. <laughs> But I really didn't know the answer. And it was something probably as simple as um, where do I, you know, get my print labels, whatever, something with labels. And, you know, Amazon Seller Central is a little bit tedious whenever you're kind of new and there's, you know, different ways that you have to go through. And there's so much software out there. You know, we've got this or that to help with that. And it's so confusing sometimes. And so to have a Facebook community that you're inviting people to come to, to ask their questions and get them answers so that they can begin, you know, at the beginning, like, uh, I, you know, one of my, one of my kids, he's, um, 28, he started doing Amazon back in November. And, you know, he was like telling me how mom, I'm so glad that, you know, you're right here. Cause I feel kind of like dumb in the Facebook groups, you know, to ask the questions. And, and so how awesome to hear that you guys are like, Hey, you know, ask the question. There is no dumb question. And that's what that's what it's about, guys, is helping each other and realizing that each of us have, like they said, different angles that we come in and we may have a question that maybe somebody else really wanted to know. So ask it. And so that way you're not only are you helping yourself, but you're helping other people. So tell us a little bit about your um, your awesome podcast. What, how, when, well, how long ago did you start that and what inspired you to do that? Well, we first started our show. Um, I started Mommy Income in 2014 and I started doing a regular weekly show and Amy was on the first show as a viewer and she jumped right in. It was like... It, typing links and things like that. And I was a complete newbie. Um, but I, you know, someone had encouraged me to get out and, and share my story and share my knowledge about Amazon. And so I took that leap of faith. And then Amy was on the very first show. And then we connected as um, friends immediately. And then um, by 2016, we joined forces and do the show together now, which is so much better and so much more awesome because it's with my BFF. But then 
but then we we were on so we do our weekly show and then we put it on youtube and then people were kept asking could you turn this into a podcast because i like to listen in my car or walk the dog so um although we've been doing our live show and putting it on youtube um since 2016 even um we just started the podcast in September. And so we've been able to um, then turn our live show into the podcast so that more people can listen in the way that that suits them. And we just love doing our live show. We love doing podcasting and just, you know, we have so much in our heads that we want to share with people. And so it's just another outlet we can get out there to share information. That's awesome. I started a podcast as well back in February. And it's true. You know, if you look at the stats, they say that podcasting is becoming one of the most incredible ways to get your voice out there and to be heard and to, you know, get your methods and your, your ideas out there. And it's true. It's almost like, it's almost like once you know something, it's like, I don't know. I feel like it's, what is the word I'm, I'm thinking of? Not mission, but it's my duty <laughs> to let people know, you know, the things that I know because everybody, Everybody is struggling in some way. I don't care if it's income or if it's a relationship or something. Everybody could use a little helping hand. And, and these guys, like I say, if you go to their site, you will see that they are, are their, their stuff is just awesome. So they've got a Facebook group. They have, you know, all these amazing courses. They have uh, a podcast. And I think you have an awesome YouTube channel as well. Don't you? Is it called Mommy Income as, as well? It also? is. Every, everything Mommy Income, that's how you'll find us on all social media and everywhere else. Just just look at Mommy Income and you can find all the links too on our on our website. Um, yeah, we have so much to share. It's the same thing. It's like um, your your joy is not complete until you share it with somebody else. So you're, you're, that's, that's exactly what you're kind of you're talking about. I think that's where we are is as soon as we learn something new and it works in our business, we can't wait to share it with other people so that they can do it too. We want them to experience because it's not complete until someone else says, Hey, I tried your bundle thing. And it's awesome. We're like, yes, <laughs> I love that too. We love the light bulb moments. Um, watching our clients come to us and say, I did this. And oh my gosh, why didn't I do this sooner? I mean, we've all had those moments in business, but it's just as an educator, as somebody who's helping other people do that, it's just amazing for that feeling that we see them celebrating. And that brings us that joy to have helped had a helping hand in getting them to that point. I love that too. I love it when someone, you know, when it, it's, it's like, it's almost like, um, a good example would be, uh, whenever I was, uh, actually when I was trying to, when I was doing affiliate marketing long ago and I was trying to create my first website and I remember, you know, going through the steps and it was Chris Farrell and he said, do this and do this and do this. And I was so frustrated. And I remember when I finally got it, you know, I, I, I Facebooked him or emailed him or whatever I did at the time. And I'm like, Chris, I got it, you know, and he's just like, oh, that makes me so happy. And it's so true. It's like seeing people succeed. You know, it's not it's not just like this business is awesome. It's a, it's a great way to help not just ourselves, but to bring other people and say, hey, you know, there's room for everybody. And, you know, come on aboard and, you know, here's all the tools. And then once they get it and reach a specific level. It is. It's just it's so fulfilling. And and that's, you know, one of the reasons behind this whole event that we're putting together is because I, I thought to myself, you know, um, I have, you know, because I do a lot of uh, my, my niches. I talk a lot about outsourcing and a lot of people are like, you know, how do you do that? And it's bringing different people like you guys, you know, and talking about I mean, someone said the other day, you are bringing to the stage all these amazing ways to choose from for us to leave our nine to five job. And they made me so happy because it's true. It's like, maybe you don't like retail, you know, but here's this way. And maybe you don't like wholesale because whatever reason, or maybe you don't like Spotify, Spotify. I said that the other day too. Shopify. <laughs> I've done the same thing. Shop yeah. Shopify, Shopify, um, or whatever it's, um, Shopify. And, and so I think that, I think it's so, um, noble what you guys are doing i just it just makes me so happy to have you representing our first simples on seller event to have you guys as speakers you represent everything of just goodness 
and um, value. And I'm just so proud to have you guys at our event. And again, guys, the link is right beneath us, mommyincome.com slash Houston. You can get your tickets there. I know that um, I always put these speakers on the spot because, you know, we were kind of cramming these in. So I asked them, you know, if they have any kind of uh, bonus that if you sign up on their link that they may have for you. So you guys can talk about that if you want to. <laughs> what we're going to do is um, if you sign up with our link, mommyincome.com slash Houston, and you come to this event, you're going to get a personal gift directly from us, but you have to get it from us at the conference. It's not going to be some special bonus or coupon. We have a, a special gift for you, and we want to meet you in person and give you that gift in person. So if that's something that you're interested in doing, we'd love to meet you. We love people. We love conversations. We love to interact with everybody. So we want to, and we might even give you a spontaneous hug. So look out for that. <laughs> <laughs> We're both huggers and Amy gives the best hugs. So um, make sure that you come up to us and just talk to us. We we want to have conversations. We want to help people. And we really specialize too in, in um, taking newbies under our wing. A lot of people leave out the newbie community and we want to make sure that if you are new to Amazon or you're just thinking about it, um, we want to help you. Not just, We're not trying to sell you something crazy. We want to say, here's what happened in our life. Here is what happened that transformed our lives by starting on Amazon. And we want you to do the same. And if you have that desire, we're here to help you every step of the way, whether you're starting big or starting small, just get started. So we, we want to care for the newbie community as well. So never feel shy, never feel dumb, never feel like you can't ask a certain question. We have been there and we've done that and we've had to crawl out of the trenches of some mistakes and we, we don't want you to do that. So make sure that um, you come and just talk to us. We want to be able to chat with you. Do you guys hear this? <laughs> I love that because I'm all about the newbie community as well because I don't know. I, I, I've been to many conferences last year alone. I think it was like nine or 10 and, and all walks of Amazon life as far as newbie, intermediate, advanced. And my favorite groups are the newbie groups because it's like what you said. It's the light bulb moments when they're like, oh, I all I wanted to know was which link was actually the Amazon seller link, you know, like Amazon.com is the buyer link, you know, and there's different links. And it's, you know, some people may think this is a silly question, but I just don't even know where to begin to get my my Amazon seller account going, you know? And so um, one of my favorite conferences last year was right here in Houston. It was a no excuse summit and I loved it because it was 300 newbies in there. And, you know, I, I would ask a question and say, how many of you guys know about this? And like nobody, you know, hardly anybody would raise their hand. And so by the end of the conference, you know, they were all getting on the computers, getting going on this particular tip and they just lit up. And I told my husband, I'm like, this is one of my, if not my favorite conference, because, you know, it's just like teaching a little kid something new and they get so excited and their eyes light up because sometimes, you know, when you get into these more advanced groups, I mean, I start feeling really dumb. <laughs> like, I, I don't really know all that stuff that you guys are doing with PPC ads. I don't get it. I don't get it as good as you do, you know? And, you know, sometimes, like I say, we just, we forget where we came from and I don't want to ever I don't personally want to ever forget that because this has truly been a blessing in my life. I've done many online stuff and this has been the one that stuck with me for the last four or five years. And so I have a passion to help, you know, those who want to be helped and bringing people like you guys to Simples on Seller, our first event. And, uh, you know, I didn't know if I would do another, but I have so many requests to do this annually and who knows what will happen. I'm not really sure. Um, it's, it's been an awesome ride and I'm so excited. Like I say, to have you guys, um, I'm going to add one more thing before we let everybody go along with their special gift. We are coming into the closing week of being able to get event tickets. If you guys, uh, buy through their link today, you know, in the next few days, whatever you get, you can private message me. You have to private message because I'm not going to post a, a private coupon on here, but you can get a $50 promo coupon on the basic package and a hundred dollar coupon guys on the VIP packages. We only what? have one more spot in the top package. There's, I only offered four. We have three people that signed up. One of them is on here listening. Her name is Maria and she's got all kinds of nice comments about you guys. You can read them later, but um, she's coming all the way from the UK. That's our international lady. Um, she is, you know, she's like, if I'm coming, I'm going <laughs> to, I'm getting the premium package. And she did. So if you think about it, you know, with a hundred dollars off or the $50 off the uh, basic package, we include lunch on both days. 
And, you know, we, we have an awesome hotel that has free Wi-Fi, free hot breakfast, free parking. You go to your room, you come down, the room is right there. We tried to make this as simple as possible. We brought to stage 21 amazing self-serving, self, you know, whatever the word is I'm looking for, just willing to serve, willing to share their value, willing to help you. And those who are not doing the VIP, no sweat. We've got two evenings of networking, three hours from seven to 10 every night, right outside the ballroom is another, a beautiful area that we can network. There's going to be a cash bar both nights where the first night Scanner Society is hosting. And the second night, you know, we just, we're going to have a cash bar where you guys can come and network. You know, you know, there's a lot of events where people complain and say, well, I didn't get the VIP package, so therefore I, I kind of missed out. Well, here's the good news. Our VIP dinners are, are great, but I did pick places that it's going to be limited. Like we'll probably get out in an hour, an hour and 15 minutes so that we can come back and network with all of you guys and let you guys be around these amazing people. And not just our speakers, guys. It's like the people that this event is attracting. There will be people in the audience that I know that are six and seven figure income earners that you may not even know. And so it's like, yes, the speakers are awesome. All of us, you know, we have brought all of these different people to the table, but there's going to be amazing networking going on. Some of the most amazing things that I have ever learned are by just being in a hallway for five minutes, listening to someone's tip about private label or about wholesale or about anything that I had to do with this business. So <clears throat> I don't know if you guys have any last minute things before we let everybody go. You wanted to add? I, I just got to, I got to put this out there when it comes to conferences, when it comes to VIP, when it comes to any of that, that stuff, um, there, there's so much value in just rubbing shoulders with other people that know a little bit more than you. And it's just, you know, be a listener and, you know, take mental notes and don't be afraid to reach out to anybody. Like Joy said, these are amazing speakers that are coming to give of their time and their efforts and they want to help people. Otherwise, they wouldn't be at this conference. And I know Joy wouldn't have picked them if, they, you know, she knew that they weren't that way. So we're all kindred spirits. We've all been there. We've all done that. And we want um, to have have conversations and, and to help people. That's why we're all there. And so don't be afraid to reach out and, and come talk to somebody. Don't be intimidated by, oh, that person's a speaker. So I don't dare go up to them and talk to them. No, do that. Because um, I just remember one the first conference I ever went to and one conversation with one person changed my whole business from the next six months on. I will never forget that. I will never forget that conversation because I had the courage to go up to the speaker and say, okay, Let's talk about this for just a second because I really am interested and I want to know what that looks like for my business. And the person was kind and they were upfront and they helped me. And that conversation changed my business. So don't be afraid to have the conversations. Absolutely. Amy, any last minute tips? It, it's the same thing. I mean, any time that I've been to a conference, I mean, Chris and I spent six months talking back and forth on the phone before we actually met in person because we live so far apart. Um, but having sitting down in the com in the in the hallway or in the you know outskirts of a conference room or whatnot and sitting and having those conversations, I watched the e-commerce e-commerce momentum podcast be born in Baltimore a couple of years ago. It was totally fun to be part of those sitting down with some of the people that you just hold in such high regards. We're people just like anybody else. So don't put us on a pedestal. We can come down and mingle with everybody. Like, this is not like, I always feel weird when people put me up like, you're like a TV celebrity. I'm like, no, I'm just a normal person. <laughs> just have a conversation with me. I'm willing to share what I know because I enjoy that. That's awesome. And, and guys, they're absolutely right in the fact that um, you know, sometimes we get a little bit intimidated because like, oh, that person just spoke on stage or, you know, they're, they, they do, you know, they're just way far further along. They've been doing this further and it's, it's just getting that and, and all of these speakers, you, if you listen to every single interview, every single one of them have said, come and talk to me. I'm willing to help you. You know, they're not there to uh, be, you know, where they're not touchable or reachable they want to help you. And that's why these people are picked. There are people that are out there that may be the opposite where, you know, but you know, these, these speakers that we have chosen are awesome and willing to help you guys. And just before we let you go, they're so right about the event thing. You know, I know many of you have said, oh, well, I'll just get the recordings or I'll just live stream. And that's great. If that's absolutely the only way that you can make it to any part of this conference, 
but there's something about being in person and being able to rub shoulders with people and be in a room that has energy with like-minded individuals who are all trying to do exactly what you're trying to do. There's magic in the room and it's incredible because it's, it's like, you know, sometimes when we're doing this business and we're talking to our friends and where they're like, well, what do you do again? Well, you know, I do this and I, you know, I, I sell on Amazon and I do Shopify. They don't understand. So when you get on a group of people that are, you know, all trying to do the same thing and all trying to help each other, there is so much magic that's in a room. It's unbelievable. And I cannot tell you enough. I think I talk about this on podcasts and interviews that people do with me, um, you know, that events are where some magic really happens. It's getting out. We all are behind our computer, you know, every day. And, you know, we can, we think we can do this by ourselves. And if you, you can do this by yourself, but if you come to an event and you, you know, look, these guys met best friends, my best friend and part and actually partner is going to be at my event as well. Uh, I can't wait to introduce her. She's kind of the passive one. She's kind of like the behind the scenes, uh, wind beneath my wings. Like she doesn't like to speak very much, but she doesn't know it, but I'll bring her on stage because she's what's making a lot of the behind the scenes stuff happen. And so some of the most, you know, the masterminds are made at live events. Guys, come, come if you are on the fence. I'm just telling you, you know, we are almost done with our interviews. Tomorrow is the last day we have three or four left. And, and we're done and you'll be able to review these. But if you're waiting and you're trying to see, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It's just there's no refunds. But if you buy a ticket, you get the recording. So it's like you can't lose. It's not like you're going to lose your money or anything, you know. So I um, admonish you to um, grab your tickets before the room is absolutely full. And you'll be so sad and, and, and regret that. Oh, I wish I pushed that magic button to get those tickets. So, don't you know, so there's, yeah. yeah. So there's promo codes being offered to you. You've got a special gift from these guys and you will meet people like Kristen and Amy, you know, that are coming to this event. So Kristen and Amy, thank you so much for your time. I know you guys are both so super busy and guys, those of you who are watching, taking some of your morning to be with us and listen and, and you know, you're lucky because there's some, there's been some valuable tips that have been shared here. And those who are going to listen to the recording, feel free, you know, there's the link right there in the comments right underneath this as well. Um, we are running out of time, like I say, for the event. So we will see all of you guys in Houston next week. Take care, everybody. Thanks, Joy. All right. Bye-bye.